Hey everyone, so today I wanted to share with you guys how to crochet these really cute hearts. So what you'll need to create this is of course your choice of yarn. And the brand that I use is this one right here from Red Heart. You're also going to need your crochet hook. I'm using a K 6.5 millimeter. This is a fairly large hook, so the bigger the hook, the bigger the heart, the smaller the hook, the smaller the hearts. You could use any hook you'd like. Then the last thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is create a slip knot, and this is how I create it. So here's the beginning of the yarn right here. And I'm just gonna wrap it twice around my two fingers, take the excess yarn, and just slightly pull it through the loop. And then here's where your hook comes in. You're just going to pull it So how I like to control the main source of yarn is I just wrap it around my finger twice, like that, and then with my middle finger and my thumb, I hold the excess down so it doesn't slip all over the place. So the first thing that we're going to do is create four chains, grab some yarn, and you want to grab from underneath, and just pull that through the loop, like that. So there's one, two, three, and four. So you have one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to make three triple crochets into this first chain, which is this one right here. So I'm gonna wrap around the yarn twice. So there's one and two. And we're gonna place that into this first chain right here. So with the excess one, you can just pull that down and hold it down with this part right here. Then we're going to grab some yarn and pull through, so you have four. Then we're gonna grab some yarn, pull through two. So now you have three, grab some yarn, pull through two, and then grab some yarn and pull through the last two. So you should have something that looks like that. We're gonna do the same thing two more times. Wrap around twice, one and two, so you have three. Then we're gonna go through the same chain. And we're gonna wrap around, go through this loop like that. Then we're gonna wrap around and grab some more yarn and pull through two. Wrap around and grab some more yarn and pull through two. And then wrap around one more time and pull through the last two. So now you have one, two. Now we're gonna make one more. So wrap around twice. And then we're gonna go into the same stitch. And we're going to wrap around one time. Then I'm gonna grab some yarn and pull through two, grab some yarn, pull through the other two, and then grab some yarn, and pull through the last two. So now you have one, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna work three double crochets, and these are really easy. So wrap around once, go through this stitch, pull through and then grab some more yarn, go through two, then grab some more yarn and go through two. Do the same thing, just go through there, pull through, grab more yarn, pull through two, grab more yarn and pull through two. Then we're going to chain one, so you're just going to wrap around one time and pull through the loop, just like that. Then we're gonna make one triple crochet, and that's the same thing as the first time. So we're gonna wrap around two times. There's one and two. Then you're gonna go through this stitch and then grab some yarn, pull through. So you have four. And then we're gonna go through two some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn, and pull through two. So that's gonna be like the tip of the heart right here. 
Then you're going to chain one, so you're just going to grab some yarn and pull through the loop. Then now we're going to create three double crochets. So you're just going to wrap around once, go through the center, grab some yarn, pull through, I'm going to grab some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn, and then pull through two. So we're going to do that two more times. So one, wrap around once, go through the center, pull some yarn, pull through, grab some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn and pull through two. And then we're going to do one more. So wrap around, so go through the center, grab some yarn, pull through, then we're going to grab some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn and pull through two. Then we're going to do three triple crochets. This is going, this is pretty much towards the end already. So we're going to wrap around twice, one and two, go through the center, grab some yarn, pull through, and we're going to grab some yarn, go through two, grab some yarn, go through two, grab some yarn, oops, and go through two. So we'll do that one, two more times. So wrap around twice, go through the center, grab some yarn, pull it through, grab some yarn, pull through two, grab some yarn, pull through two, then grab some yarn and pull through the last two. So we'll do that one more time and wrap around two times to the center, grab some yarn, then grab some yarn again, go through two, grab some yarn, go through two, and then grab some yarn and go through two. We're going to chain three times, grab some yarn, go through the loop, and do that two more times. So grab some yarn, pull it through one more time, grab some yarn and pull it through like that. Now we're going to join with the slip stitch and all you have to do is, you don't have to, you don't have to grab any more yarn, just bring this into the center and then you want to grab from the back. We're going to pull that. You want to bring that into this stitch right here. So it looks like that. Okay. Oops. And you can leave about that much. And then in the back is the main part. You just want to cut a little bit. I didn't pull it all the way because I want to make a knot before I pull this all the way out. So what I do is I just take this part right here and then I slip that through the loop and I pull, just keep pulling until it's really tight. So this just secures everything so it won't come apart. With the excess yarn, what I'm going to do is just crochet it into the back. This one ended up in the front. So I'm going to turn it around and find it just pull through. There you go. So now it's in the back. So I'm going to work around this stitch right here. So you just want to place your hook anywhere in between these yarns and then just pull it through like that. And you just do that all the way around until it, until you can't see it anymore. This one, you're going to do the same thing. So we're going to pull it back. this first one and just grab 
the yarn, kind of pull it tight, and just work your way around. So I reached the beginning, so there's a little excess. I'm just gonna cut that part off. So there you have your crochet heart. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it a little helpful. If you do have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. So, and as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.